Waiters, what dating disasters have you witnessed? I worked at a bar in a hotel for five years. I had a table come down from their hotel room and sit at one of my pub tables for dinner. From the moment they sat down, you could tell the wife was furious about something. She was unbelievably pleasant toward me, but did not say a single word to the man at the table. I get their drinks and then their orders. He ordered steak and she ordered the sauciest pasta dish. We had on the menu. About 20 minutes later, the wife still hadn't said a word to the man since they sat down. Their food was done and my food runner set it on the table. Right as I was about to walk over to see if they needed anything else. I saw the woman stand up, say, go fuck yourself, John, as she picked up the plate of pasta and dumped it all over his head and down into his lap. Then she very calmly walked out of the bar and back up to her hotel room. I spent a few minutes helping the man clean up and got my manager to come handle the situation from theirs it was way above my pay grade at that point. Later in the night, the woman came back to the bar without the man and we talked for a while. Turns out he admitted to cheating on her right before their dinner reservation. I never saw either of them again. I was a waiter at a very famous upscale restaurant and a gentleman approached the maitre requesting someone take pictures of him. Proposing to his girlfriend, since I was the closest asshole to the maitre I was tasked with performing this duty. After stalking the table for a solid hour the moment was inevitably approaching. I set up at an angle she couldn't see me and when he busted out the ring I started taking as many pictures as I could. Anyone who has tried to capture a once-in-a-lifetime moment on camera knows that you're not really watching what's going on. You're just trying to frame the moment. After about 20 to 30 pictures I slowly realized that she was declining the proposal and the scene was quickly degenerating into a five-alarm dumpster fire. However I was far enough away that I couldn't hear what was being said and couldn't be sure of what was transpiring so I continued taking pictures just in case. Finally I stepped back and watched the scene unfold in reality as she stormed out of the restaurant in embarrassment and he scrambled to pay the bill and chase after her. He'd requested that I use my phone and send the best pictures to him. Needless to say he never approached us for the pictures and I have about 100 plus pictures of a wedding proposal gone wrong somewhere deep in my iCloud photo bank. I was bartender at a country club in college and I watched a woman curse her husband out at their table because the husband kept flirting with the waitress. She got really loud and walked out. Keep in mind this was a nice restaurant at an upscale country club. The waitress felt it was all her fault but she told me the guy had been coming in there often and tipping her 100% of the bill every time. Guy 1 and GF are fondling each other at my bar. Guy 2 joins them at the bar and they quickly separate and behave. The three go off into the casino but stop back for drinks a few times. Early AM Guy 2 does a shot and walks away. I can tell he isn't happy. He comes back and says he has a couple of hours to kill before his plane leaves. We get to chatting and he tells me he just broke up with his GF as suspects she snuck up to the room and nailed his best friend when he couldn't find either of them for an hour. I ask if it was Guy Wan and GF. He confirms it and I let him know he is making the right choices they were making out at the bar. Before he came down, he thanks me for confirming, leaves a huge tip, and lets me know what is happening in case there is any confusion with the hotel. An hour or so later Guy 1 and GF are at the bar whispering and arguing. I casually ask if everything is okay. They say they are locked out of their room and can't find their friend who paid for the room. They tried to charge the bill to the room too but my computer showed the room was empty. I told them Guy 2 had been in earlier but checked out and his flight was already in the air. Then I watched the meltdown. Guy Wan had paid for his BFF and GF to spend a week in Vegas with him. They cheated and got caught. He checked out and flew home and they had nowhere to stay for the week and no money for even basic food. 
Their luggage had been packed and left in the baggage hold. They did everything they could to get out of paying for their drinks as they were hella expensive. Left no tip, and didn't have a place to sleep or even change clothing at 5 a.m. TLDR, don't cheat on the person paying your way if you can't pay your own way. This was probably about four years ago. In a joint called the Esquire Tavern on the River Walk. We had a street entrance as well as a river entrance. But from the river you had to walk up a really narrow metal staircase to our balcony. It barely had enough room for five small tables. Including one that was tucked in a corner that made it hard to see from below. Anyways, it was a slow summer lunch so I was doubling as a hostess. And this guy comes up from the river entrance and asks for a spot on the patio. Specifically the hidden cramped one. No problem sir, I say, and I get him set up. We chat for a bit. I take his order, bring it out and go about my business which was to passively watch him through the window because he was my only table and I wanted to keep an eye on him. I started to notice him suddenly ducking his head, as if he's trying not to be seen from the river level by someone. I remember pointing it out to another co-worker, who was just as curious as I was. Then we heard a woman scream, There you are Marcos. You piece of shit. I could hear the staircase shuddering as someone was clearly stomping their way up it. And my co-worker astutely dipped out to find the manager. The lady started laying into this dude. And all I could make out was something about ditching her. All the while he's just ignoring her and calmly eating his buffalo burger. Lol. Which made her snap. She slapped the shit out of this dude. Telling him to fucking acknowledge me. And he simply got up. Walked around her and came inside to sit at the bar. She then sits down and starts eating this poor man's meal like nothing is wrong. By this point though the manager is here and he goes outside and starts trying to kick her off the premises while I go talk to Marcos and figure out what's what. The TLDR is that the woman was his wife. And they had come downtown for lunch. She had a nasty habit of getting super fucked up and belligerent which always ended up ruining their plans including a wedding reception a few months prior. She refused to go get help, insisting that she'd keep her drinking to a minimum. And this was their first vacation since that incident. They had stopped at a brunch place around the corner and she proceeded to have four old fashions. Back to back, when she was ordering her fourth drink, he told her that she was already out of control, and that if she kept drinking, he was going to close the tab and go eat lunch somewhere else and that he'd meet her back at the hotel. She told him he was chicken shit and that he wasn't going anywhere. So he got up, paid their bill, and walked out. I guess she thought he was putting up a front and was actually waiting outside for her. Then realized he wasn't. She started running up and down the river looking for him. He just wanted to finish his burger in peace before dealing with her craziness. In the end, we had her ejected from the premises and my manager made him another burger on the house. A year or so later, we saw him at the bar with a different woman. He divorced his wife and couldn't look happier. I used to bartend at a yard house in the before times. Yard house is a corporate place that's basically a nicer sports bar with a ton of beer on tap with stupid giant novelty glasses. I had a couple at the bar during happy hour drinking from one of the big glasses and they ordered some onion rings that were half price. He jokingly proposed with an onion ring and she started laughing and jokingly said yes. Then he busted out an actual ring. She wasn't laughing anymore. I was bartending at a restaurant in San Francisco. This guy came in and ordered a vodka martini. He downed it and ordered another. Halfway throughout his third he called his wife and asked for a divorce. After he hung up we talked about the Red Sox I'm from Boston. I worked fine dining in Vail, Colorado. I once saw a lady throw red wine all over a guy's shirt and leave. He sat and continued eating his spaghetti plate. No fucks. I'm a waitress in my father's restaurant. It's not that big, but we're usually full during weekends. A lot of couple come here cause it's kinda chic for a French restaurant. 
Anyway, once there was a couple. Early 30s. The dude had arrived earlier than the girl. So I thought it was something like a date but eh no. The girl ordered everything. She chose all the dishes. The dessert and even the wine without even asking the guy what he would like to have. They both didn't talk. Only said good evening. Weird for a date. But when I came at their table to serve the wine. They started to argue about their relationship. The dude was convinced that she cheated on him. And you know what? She admitted that and said very loud that he was bad in bed. At this moment any single cell in my body was cringing they kept arguing for 10 minutes until I decided to stop them. Cause they were almost yelling and so disturbing the approximately 15 people in the restaurant. The woman asked if she could have another bottle of wine. And she left within 5 minutes with a bottle. I felt so bad for this guy that I gifted him his whiskey coca. Edit orthograph me be French me bad at English cheeky smiley face. A couple of friends and I went to the Mexican restaurant where another friend was waiting tables. There was a couple kind of catty cornered from us that had a bit of an off vibe. We could see them, but not really hear them. So we asked our server friend what was up. She said it seemed to be a first or second date that was a bit awkward. The girl had ordered one of those enormous margaritas and was not sharing it. I had to go make a phone call back in the payphone days and when I came back, I ended up sitting with my back to the couple. Maybe 10 minutes later, I hear our friend the server say, no, 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 and the sound of a full punch bowl being emptied from a great height. Giant margarita girl had stood up, swayed a bit, and vomited all over their meals table, and the surrounding floor, the restaurant comped everyone sitting nearby, and the girls date abandoned her in the ensuing chaos, couples fight in restaurants a lot, that or maybe they argue everywhere, I couldn't say, I worked as a waiter for years and I could not begin to count the number of arguments I saw, but one guy comes to mind above all of them, this guy must have been 50 to 60 years old and got angry with his lady, he actually threw a snit and stomped off and was wandering around the restaurant and looking back at her and scowling. It was like a child throwing a temper tantrum. But most children aren't even this dramatic usually. It was nauseating to watch. Not a waiter but I saw a first date next to me. In short, girl states she has an allergy to pineapple. Guy says okay and a I don't believe you kind of way. At some point he scraped some pineapple glaze off his dessert and onto her spoon when she popped outside to make a call. She comes back and eats without noticing too much. Has a severe reaction. Guy freaks out and tries to run but gets stopped by my girlfriend who is suspicious of him. Manager administers the girl's EpiPen and ambulance and police are called. Absolute clusterfuck situation. I used to work at a bar where 70% of the customers were on Tinder dates. There was a line of two-person booths along the wall when you first walk in. There were two dudes sitting by themselves in two different booths. Both of them were facing the door. One was in the first booth, one was in the last booth. This girl comes in and walks up to the first booth, says hi to the guy, and sits down. They're chatting for about 5 minutes when the other guy who is sitting by himself comes up to her and says, Hey I'm so and so. Aren't you so and so? They all talk for like 30 seconds and she gets up and goes and sits with the other guy at the last booth. Eventually a different girl shows up for a date with a guy at the first booth. I don't know exactly what happened, but I almost died watching it unfold. She was definitely embarrassed bartender for a couple on a tinder date they talk for about an hour he goes to the bathroom but left his jacket on the back of his chair with his wallet and keys in she stole them stole his car and went shopping that poor schmuck refused to call the cops for an hour because it was going so well i felt bad for him this happened when i was around 18 or so i am mostly native american this is an important factor to the story a guy and his date get sat in my section and he immediately asked to speak to my manager. This was before I even took their drink order so I was perplexed but went and grabbed him right. 
away. The dude then asked my manager for a nice white server instead. Right in front of me. While giving me a rather disgusted scowl. His date was so horrified she stood up and said, Oh hell no. That racist shit don't work with me honey. You can sit me at the bar sweetheart. This date is over. The manager made the man leave and comped his date's food. She left the manager $100 tip for me with a note that said, You are beautiful and worthy of respect. Always remember that. Her date was a disaster but she made my night. Not really a disaster, but a funny story. I was a waiter at a nice restaurant. Got two young people coming in. Obviously on a first date. The girl say to me at some point that she have a seafood allergy. Then the guy order seafood right after that. It took him a couple of seconds after I asked him if he was sure it was a good idea. With a knowing look, to understand what I meant. He ordered her some chicken. You know, you really should not kiss someone who ate seafood if you have an allergy to that. I hope the rest of the date went well for them after that.